Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on gender roles and relationships, looking at reasons for changes to gender roles in the family. When looking at gender roles in the family, we need to define what we mean by gender roles and some of the key terms used by sociologists in doing so. Sociologists often refer to conjugal roles, which are the different roles that males and females take on in relationships. And these can be described as either segregated, where males and females perform different and separate tasks within the family. For example, in the more traditional family structures, males would take on the instrumental role of being the economic provider, while females would take on the caring and nurturing expressive role. Or they can be described as integrated or joint conjugal roles. This is where males and females in the relationship split the roles more equally and have interchangeable roles. This means that males may sometimes take on responsibility for childcare while females go to work. Joint conjugal roles are becoming more common in contemporary society and in this video we'll look at some of the reasons why this has occurred and the research that outlines these changes. One of the first pieces of research to suggest that conjugal roles were becoming more equal was suggested by Wilmot and Young. In their research of the East End of London they found that the family was becoming more symmetrical towards the end of the modern age. Families would have shared leisure time, childcare responsibilities and domestic labour. Although often the housework was based upon gender domains, with males more likely to be involved in home repairs, gardening and taking out the bins, whilst females would be more inclined to do cleaning, laundry and cooking. Whilst childcare was becoming more equal, more of the responsibility fell upon females, with males more likely to take children to the park or play in the garden than look after the children in the home. However, Wilmot and Young found family life to be in contrast to their earlier research into early industrial families and the work of Elizabeth Bott and Tolcott Parsons, who suggested that gender roles were more separate. As with Wilmot and Young, we've looked at the work of Oakley in a separate video on our research into the conventional family, but we can apply Oakley's findings to the debate over changing gender roles. Oakley suggested that roles were not equal in the conventional family, and that despite a movement towards equality, women were still expected to perform the majority of the domestic labour at home. While Oakley noted an increase in the number of women working, she also found that the expectations on them to look after the family had changed very little, describing a dual burden that women had of paid labour and domestic labour. Duncan and Marsden developed Oakley's point further, suggesting that women actually had a triple shift, the additional burden of supporting the emotional needs of the family, including her partner, their children, and often other relatives. This emotional labour performed by women formed part of the triple shift that they performed in the family. In recent years, however, there has been a movement towards equality, although the evolution of this is somewhat delayed by men's failure to adapt to the changes in society. Gershny argued that while males were doing more than ever before, they lagged behind females in adapting to the changes to late modern society. While women embraced opportunities at work, males struggle to compensate for their partner's absence in the home. And this can be seen in the data provided in a survey conducted by the Office for National Statistics in 2016, which suggested that males performed 16 hours per week of unpaid labour in comparison to their partner's 26 hours per week. The survey also demonstrated the existence of different gender domains, with males more likely to transport their children to school and activities, whilst females did the bulk of the home-based activities results that back up the findings of Wilmot and Young over 40 years earlier. However, we can see that domestic labour is becoming more equal than in previous years, and sociologists look to explain the reasons for this. One reason is the greater level of female employment in contemporary society, which has led to a decline in the amount of work females are doing. One reason is the greater level of female employment in contemporary society, which has led to a decline in the amount of unpaid work females are doing. This is in part due to the contracting out of some domestic labour to services as well as placing children in childcare and wraparound care, breakfast clubs and after school clubs as a result of working longer hours. Males are likely to be involved in dropping off and picking up children as well, as evidenced by the amount of unpaid driving they do according to the ONS. A second reason for changes in domestic labour are technological advances. Silver and Shaw suggested that some labour-saving devices such as washing machines and vacuum cleaners had reduced the workload of women. 
and since the publication of their research, technology has provided even greater labour-saving devices with dishwashers, microwave ovens and even remote vacuum cleaners reducing the amount of household labour that women perform. It has to be noted, however, that we're talking about a reduction in housework for women rather than an increase in male work. A third reason for housework becoming more equal is the changing nature of relationships. As suggested by Beck, relationships between males and females have become less secure and more negotiated. This has led to a greater expectation on males to contribute towards domestic labour and childcare. With women becoming more financially independent, males have to offer more than economic support in a relationship, and this has led to a movement towards more equal gender roles. However, there are many critics who would suggest that the dual burden and triple shift remain for women and that movement towards equality has been exaggerated. Nudson and Werners looked at a range of different countries, including the UK, and found that most domestic labour was completed by women. Can and Laurie found that this was often the case in lower social classes and suggested that in families where women were employed and had high level qualifications, labour was more equally shared. However, in homes where this was not the case, traditional gender roles persisted. And as recently as 2007, the Food Standards Agency found that the responsibility for food shopping and the preparation of meals lay with the female in 77% of households. While there has been a trend for more males cooking, this may be once or twice a week, and females will still do it the majority of the time. In examining the debate over the extent to which gender roles have changed, it is clear that the balance of domestic labour is still unequal despite changes to gender roles. However, it can be argued that this is often dependent upon the social background of families, with traditional roles more likely in lower social classes and amongst older generations that have been socialised into those gender roles. Changes are happening, but mostly for women who have higher status careers than their partners and those who are more educated. The Social Attitudes Survey conducted in 2013 suggested that whilst women still do the majority of cooking, shopping and looking after sick relatives, males are doing some of these tasks alongside their partners, but rarely have sole responsibility for those tasks. Tasks still remain gendered, with DIY very much still in the male domain, while laundry and cleaning are seen as being part of the feminine domain. It appears that while men are doing more and that gender roles are changing, there is still inequality between the amounts and types of unpaid labour that males and females undertake. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on gender roles and relationships, examining changes to gender roles in the family. Thanks for watching.